All right, let's look at this example where we have Morse code. Uh, Morse code uses a sequence of dots and dashes to represent letters and words. How many sequences are possible with at most three symbols? Okay, well, there are, um, first I wanna key into this at most three symbols. So if we were dealing with, dealing with exactly three symbols, then we would have this situation where we could say, okay, um, if we're dealing with exactly three symbols, then there's two different ways we could go with each of these choices. I could do a dot or a dash, a dot or a dash, and a dot or a dash. So there would be eight different ways with exactly three. But this says at most three symbols, which means I could have had exactly two symbols. Um, in that case, well, two times two is four. There would be four different sequences that have exactly two symbols. Um, of course, I could go exactly one symbol, which is, there's two different ways to go with that. Um, and I don't think you could really count having exactly zero symbols. It's not really representing anything if you didn't do anything. So um, in total, there are eight different ways I could go with exactly three, four with exactly two, and two with exactly one symbol. There is no way that I'm going to be using exactly two symbols and simultaneously using exactly three symbols to represent a, um, a particular sequence. So I'm able to actually just add these numbers together. So there are 14 different ways, uh, 14 different sequences if we use at most three symbols.